Over long and now misted millennia, the rhythm of our human existence was the same. Pursuing our sacred and relentless desire to survive, we hunted and gathered the living things that suited our physical needs for food and warmth. We marched slowly out of Africa and encircled the world. The wild flesh we consumed became the flesh we were. The blood we drained became the rivers of our lives. Human and animal became inseparable. Life and death were but a circle. Against nearly impossible odds, we developed a pathway to existence that was to become the hallmark of our species and the most enduring portal to our natural selves. We became hunters. Today, we exist in an era of increasing urbanization, where many of us have become disconnected from nature, from our outdoor heritage, and certainly from our food sources. Many individuals condemn hunting as an anachronism and an unnecessary cruelty. By focusing on the animal's death, they come to condemn also the hunting experience that leads to it and the many benefits that derive from it. Hunters must show society that this time-honored tradition remains relevant in the modern world. So long as we require food, animal death will be a reality of human existence regardless of our dietary choices. Food procurement and health remain primary motivations for hunters, just as they do for the harvesters of wild berries and mushrooms or medicinal plants. And food procurement is something the general public understands and appreciates, and which remains well supported even by individuals who may never hunt themselves. You know, I've never met a human being who did not wish to live a healthy life. It is not surprising, really, that as society becomes more and more health conscious, wild harvest activities, including hunting, are beginning to make sense to more and more people. Humans, like all animals, require land and sustenance, and there is no free ride for any living thing. Sustainable recreational wild animal harvest in North America should be viewed as one of the healthiest food procurement systems in existence. Not just in terms of nutrition, but also in terms of physical fitness, mental health, and emotional and spiritual well-being. This animal lived free and died wild never having experienced unnatural confinement, restraint, isolation, or abuse. And if there can be such a thing, surely it lived and it died well. Today, Humans can be anything and live any way they want. But we were hunters first. And as hunters, we feel and acknowledge the inseparable tie between our past and our future, the seamless flow of our existence. It was through the hunt that we came to understand the very nature of existence, 
the great circle of life, death and rebirth, and our enduring human role in all of it. As recreational hunters, we have a unique tradition of wild meat sharing that exists with no other food procurement system. We typically share wild harvested food with our family members, our friends and our neighbors. Our wild harvest traditions are not just unique. They bring out the best of our humanity and are well worth preserving for all of us. <laughs>